Forget the dating rules. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and uplifting life partner. Now, this particular conversation came into being because a couple of days ago, I was watching uh, the comedian uh, Gary Owens. And for those of you who don't know, and not that it matters because I'm not a person that gets caught into racial things, but he's a white guy who married a black woman and that's usually mostly his whole comedy is kind of geared around the things that he's learned being married to a black woman so it's really funny if you guys haven't had a chance to to hear him uh check him out he's he's really funny you know the things that he's had to experience um the things that he's learned and the way he shares them of course but what he talked about it was him and his wife doing kind of an interview And she said one of the things that kind of intrigued her is the fact that he ignored all the rules. Like when he got her phone number, she said he didn't wait the three days, you know, like the rule says that you wait three days to call. And that kind of was exciting to her that here's a guy and and she, she was just basically saying throughout the time they were talking and getting to know each other, he just didn't live by any of the rules. The guys that she dated before him, had like four and five jobs and all he was doing was going to do comedy. And he was like, well, I'm doing a show over here this week and I might be doing one over here next week. And she's looking at him crazy because she's used to these guys having four and five jobs. And she's looking at him like, well, what else? He said, I don't want to do nothing else. But those things, he's going against everything that, the rules that she had been hearing or been taught and that actually excited her. And the reason for that is, and I keep trying to tell people it's about, it's about being authentic. It's about being you. It's about finding a person that's interested in you. I was talking to another young man tonight, matter of fact, uh, that I mentor and he was telling me about the things with the young lady that he's dating now, all the different things that, he said his other girlfriends never did. And this girl, it's, it's crazy how all these things with her are going on. And their relationship, he's getting closer and closer to her because of the adjustments that she's willing to make as he's making adjustments also. But, you know, they talk and they communicate and this and that. And I told him, I said, you're supposed to, that's the way it's supposed to work. See, there's this thing that for some reason, um, People don't think about this, and and this is what I was sharing with him, is we talk about there's only, there's a small segment of people out there that you will be attracted to. Small, like some women will say, there's not many men out here. And I said, there's a ton of men floating everywhere. They Everywhere you go, there's a bunch of men. The key is, as you start to become very clear, and again, we know as we do Self Love Monday and we start to get ourselves together, we get more clarity in what we're looking for. An example here, as I said, if your qualification for a guy is he just has to look good, then there's unlimited number of guys who are cute, handsome, whatever words you want to use, and that means the pool is, 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 is humongous. But then all of a sudden you say, but he has to be cute and he also has to have a job. Well, guess what? All the good looking guys that don't have jobs just fell off the list. So now the the qualifications, the more qualifications you put on there, guys start to drop off. And that's what I was telling him with her. The same thing. The more the relationships you've had in the past, which again, I've, I've shared, understand all the relationships that you had are preparing you to get more clarity on what you want in the future and as a part of developing you. So that like in this case, when a woman shows up that does certain things and he's like, wow. I said, that's how you find the one. She's supposed to be different. And people again, they they don't think about that. It's like the more clarity you get, the list is supposed to be smaller. There's not supposed to be a bunch of guys that qualify. There's not supposed to be a bunch of women that qualify. That's how you're going to find the one. Does that make sense? There's a lot of people that you may go on dates with, and and that's the reason for me I I always share about dating. Dating is just going out and having time and quit trying to interview people and and all that kind of, just get to know people. And 
you'll come across now, if you're one of those people you think you're running out of time, interview. I personally am against interviewing because the reality is, is you're putting too much pressure on the uh, actual date that doesn't need to be there. And if all you want to do is interview people, do that over the telephone. You can interview them without going on a, on a date. Why go out with a person and waste your time and waste theirs? If you just want to interview people, if you want to see their FICO score and all that, you can have that interview over the telephone. And, and chances are they ain't going to tell you. Why? Because you shouldn't get that information when they're just meeting because it ain't none of your business. And so my thing is, if you're interviewing me personally, we're done. I'm not, I'm not here to interview. I'm here to go out and enjoy life. And in the process, that's how you're going to find the right person because you get past, as you guys have heard me say, you get past the external things that women, that, that I was almost said women, but the world is what I meant, keeps telling you about a partner. Uh, Will Smith said this the other day, and I started laughing. He made the comment, he said, one thing that he has learned about relationships, there is no amount of money that will make a relationship work. Let me say that again. He said he has learned there is no amount of money that will make a relationship work. My point exactly. So again, I know some of you still aren't listening and aren't hearing me when I keep saying quit having these conversations on FICO scores and, 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 and the income and all the stuff that everybody keeps talking about, which are not. You're looking for the internal stuff, the connection. We can do the external stuff together. We can accumulate the money. We can accumulate the cars. We can accumulate all the external stuff. We can do that together. Find the person that matches with you. And that's why he's saying that because those that have heard some of the stuff recently going on in their relationship, you understand what he's talking about. They got money. Pretty sure they got, they probably got an incredible FICO score. But that wasn't helping their relationships. Because the world, again, is sharing bad information. So anyway, what I was getting to today, I got sidetracked there, is breaking the rules. And that is kind of breaking the rule, just, just that conversation, because that's what people keep sharing out here as far as that's what you're looking for. Forget that, that, that stuff and listening to that kind of conversation. It's coming from people who have been in relationships that don't work or in relationships that are shaky. And probably end up going to crash because the fact is, again, as I keep saying, if you focus on the external stuff, it's only time before that relationship will fall apart because external things change, external things break, external things disappear. And if that's what your, your relationship is set on, chances are very, very good. It won't last. So anyway, but the breaking the rules, um, kind of when I talked about a couple of days ago, the gentleman that was... Uh, his, his rule that he was putting out there. And understand these rules of things that people are coming, coming up with on their own, but he came up with the rule of um, you shouldn't, uh, if you're going after a woman and she's not interested in you, then don't do it because it didn't work for him, okay? That's his rule. Don't listen to it, okay? Because it's not true. I personally went after a young lady who told me that she would never date me, never give me a number, all these never, 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 nevers. I went after her. She became my wife. We were together for 32 years. So, um, so in, that was bad information. The rule, you know, as we talked about before, those of you have never heard me talk about the 90-day rule, where it's kind of you wait 90 days before you actually go to bed with someone. Now, I understand the premise, which is you want to get to know a person. Cool. I think you need to do that but a calendar should never make that decision for you. Uh, I remember saying that to someone one time and she's like, oh, well, that's not what he, he really meant, like actually 90 days. I said, then obviously you didn't read his book. The, and, 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 and we're talking about Steve Harvey, for those of you who don't know it, because in his book, he talks about the 90 day rule and that's kind of how it really got started. And he says on day 90, he's telling you how to get dressed up and all this kind of stuff. So he literally said 90 days. So, that's a rule that I totally disagree with. The only part, again, that I'm, I'm, I agree is getting to know people. The most valuable thing you will ever have, you will ever possess, you will ever come in contact with, person, place, or thing, you. That's it. Most valuable you'll ever have. 
Why would you put you on a calendar? It's never made sense to me, but that's become a popular conversation. The 90 day rule. I tell people, trust me, back in my days when I was out here acting up, I can wait 90 days for you. I can wait six months for you. Wait however long you need to wait. Whatever makes you happy. That didn't mean I wasn't out there messing around with somebody else. You guys get me? Don't be fooled thinking the 90 days tells you anything. It just gives you a chance to get to know a person a little bit better, which is what you should be doing anyway. Um, the sexual part, only you get to decide that. But, but please, don't let it be because a calendar, because of a 90 day. Again, those that say, well, if you go before 90 days, um, you know, uh, he may not respect you. If he's, a, if he's a person that doesn't respect women or you, he ain't going to do it anyway. You can wait 95, 95 days. If he's not going to respect you, he's not going to respect you because he'd be the guy that wait 95 days, he gets you, and then he's back to the real him if that's the game that he's playing. Um, a person that has high integrity, high character, has high integrity and high character. That's simple. Um, they can totally respect you and don't agree with what you do in your life. So you going to bed with them. Again, like I tell people before, there's hookers to get... Maybe that's a wrong word. I don't know. Is that a bad word? But anyway, the ladies of the night are however we want to say politically correct, so I'm not offending anyone. But there are prostitutes that get married every single day. There are guys that know that they're women prostitutes and still marry her. So this, you know, figuring it out, that's again, like I'm saying, the rules. Don't let anyone try to tell you any kind of rule. That's why, again, everything I try to share is get you together, figure out what you're going for, and you find somebody that connects and quit trying to follow some rules that people are putting out here because all people are doing is giving you their views, their perspectives, and that's why you hear me keep saying it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it's my opinion because that's all they are. All these rules are people's opinions. Do not use their opinions to guide your life. Um, and that includes me. I, 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 the stuff that I'm sharing, again, are my opinions. Take them, the things that work, use them. The things that don't, let them slide, let them roll, you know, whatever. Again, the whole concept here of this conversation is, because of the Gary Owens thing, it's, it's the rules. Quit going out here trying to find someone based on the rules and eliminating people based on rules when the rules are other people's opinions. I'm not going to ask you to pick my, my partner for me. And that's what you're doing when you're taking other people's opinion. Again, there's nothing wrong with taking people's uh, you know, experiences and that kind of stuff and, and gives you different ways to see things, which is hopefully the stuff that I share gives you that opportunity to do that. But don't get caught in following rules and letting rules, as you guys heard me say before, they're called rules, BS rules, that's what they are, and let those make your dating decisions for you. Um, even even some of the ladies I've I've had when I drove, you know, the way they dressed, the outfits that they wore. Um, some of them, as you guys know, pretty much they ain't got nothing on. Well, for my rules, you need to go put some clothes on. Because for me personally, I'm not trying to get in a relationship with someone like that. My rules. See, and that's why I'm that's why again I'm sharing these about breaking rules, is because that doesn't mean if you want to dress like that, you shouldn't. Because a woman that doesn't wear any clothes out in public, I'd love that at the house. Don't get me wrong. At home, that's cool. Not in public. Not in public. I don't need you showing everything out in public. And again, that's not saying good, bad, right, or wrong. I had a uh, this just gentleman hit me like because his girlfriend now, when he met her, she was half dressed. He was dating her knowing that she usually have dressed and she was getting ready to go out one night and and you could see the smoke coming out his nose and out his ears and he was hot because she was about to go out and he just saw the outfit that she had on. And he was telling me, he's like, but she's in a relationship now. She shouldn't be dressed like that. I'm like, really? 
She was dressed like that before you. He's like, but yeah, but she's in a relationship now. So, folks, you got to learn to accept people just as they are. As you guys know, that's what I said. That's what love is. Accepting people just as they are. If you can't accept people just as they are, don't get in a relationship with them. That's simple. He knew that she dresses like that. If you can't handle that and your woman, don't date her. It's that simple. You know, don't make this stuff mystical. So anyway, but I, I think you guys get the point. Don't let rules decide your relationship because it will, it will keep you from possibly finding the right person for you. Oh, speaking of which you're breaking rules too, um, because I was talking to someone today, we were talking about, um, because she's Hispanic. And she was saying how, you know, she's been told or heard, you know, that she needs to marry Hispanic. And she's like, why? What if the person that I find is not Hispanic? And they're like, well, you need to marry inside of the Hispanic culture. And these are things that I always personally laugh at, because if you tell a person that they're being racist, are they prejudiced? And I'm probably going to hurt some feelings on this, but forgive me, you know, but hear me out. Um, people will get offended when you say that, that they'll say, I'm not racist. I just prefer my culture. And I tell people, no, you're racist. I had a gentleman that was telling, he'd like, uh, I think he was from the like Ar Iranian or something like that. And he was telling me, he said, like me, for example, he says, I'm not racist. He said, but I would have a hard time if my daughter came home with a black man. He, now, he's telling me this. He said, with a black man. He said, but at the same time, I'm saying if she came home with a white man, I want her to marry in our culture. This is not a culture issue. This is a racist issue. He's like, no, it's culture. I said, so you're telling me if I learn your culture and I start to practice your culture, it would be okay to date your daughter? Huh. Huh. Uh, no. Why? Because of my skin color. That's racist. Uh, people don't want to hear that because they don't like the connotation that's tied to that. Um, when I hear people say preference, I said preference is, it just means it's what you would prefer, but you, doesn't sh you don't shut the door on other options. Me, for example, and, and I think I shared this uh, uh, not too long ago, my preference when I was younger, my wife was going to be Hawaiian or black and the reason for that is because I love brown caramel skin don't know why I'm not trying to figure it out it just is I just love brown caramel skin and I said that's my preference so if I had to pick you know if if they just told go create the woman you want you know she's gonna have certain features which we ain't gonna get into but the skin color would be caramel brown well again you guys know my wife was Japanese she, she was shorter. She was short. She uh, didn't have, you know, the, the features, you know, all the features that she had some, but she didn't have all the features I would be looking for. That's a preference. A preference would be if I went and just created my own person. Because we all have that, what we think we really want. But I made the decision based on the person that was right for me in every area. Um, and I can let that stuff go. See, that's how you know it's a preference. A preference is something, if you could create it, this is how it's going to look. Like you had that dream car, you just go, this is how the car is going to look. And it's going to have this on it, that's on it, that's a preference. But then you go see another car and you go, ooh, that's cool. I like that. Now, that ain't the one I picked. But that's cool. I want that one. And so I don't want you guys to, to take that wrong and, and, and like I feel like, because I heard one guy talk about that about, that's settling. He would have called what I did settling. And it's like, it's not settling. We got to understand what settling is. I found the woman that's perfect for me, as you guys hear me keep saying, it's about the internal connection. It's about the person that I know where I'm headed. And she's headed in the same direction as me. I mean, you could call it a spiritual connection. Um, you know, uh, vibrations, you know, whatever you want to call it. That's not settling. That's the person that lines up with me. The external stuff is what the world has told me to look for. That, you know what I'm saying? And, and so 
I'm not going to give up the true, real connection, the meaning of what life is really about, and will give me the real happiness that I truly want because of some preferences. And then we want to call that settling. Folks, it's not settling. Settling is when you just go, well, I ain't going to never find that girl. So, I guess, whew. Folks, you guys have heard me. I told you the story of uh, what pushed me over the edge with, with my wife. Is I had a, a dream that I caught her cheating. And I woke up in the middle of the night. My shirt was wet and, and my heart was beating fast. And I was like, whew, you really love this girl. It's like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. I called her up saying, I love you, I love you. Folks, that ain't settling. That's a connection. Whew, I realized that's the one. That's not settling. That was a preference that I had. You see what I'm saying? But I didn't let that block me from what I really need in my life. And that's what I did. So again, that's not settling. So anyway, bottom line is I hope you guys understand. That's why I said don't follow the rules. Don't let anybody... Well, you guys know I'm kind of a rebel in that sense anyway. So you know I'm going to tell you don't follow the rules in dating because I'm going to tell you don't... You know, and I'm not saying don't follow rules. I'm not saying break rules, break laws. That's not this. But you got to be willing to question things and decide on if they work for you or not. For you or not. Not because the world, for you or not. And then move accordingly. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. So for those of you that we, we talk on Monday, I look forward to uh, talking to you on Self Love Monday. And then for those of you on the relationships, I look forward to talking to you again next Thursday. Um, run over to Ron Simplified Myers uh, online.com. Again, Ron Simplified Myers online.com. You can see all the things that I got going on. The major thing here, again, that I wanted to just talk about is folks, go out, get clear what you want, what you're looking for, find someone that lines up with you. Don't let anyone's rules that they've created, which are really their perspectives on life and in general, do not let those things be. Um, your decision-making 